boys okay? Is that Harley? No. Sam? No. Then I suppose it was Blake. Yes, the person we're not talking about. Yes. Is she still in New York with uh, Romeo? Oh, what are you having? I'm really hungry. Holly, what's the big deal? Is their location a secret or what? Don't ask me unless you really want to know. I don't. Where are they? Tuscany. Tuscany? That's where Blake and I were going for our second honeymoon. How could she take somebody I'm else? I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. It just proves that I was right to divorce her. I mean, Blake doesn't care about anything or anybody except herself. Gosh, guys. Oh, Harley, I can't tell you how what you're an angel. You're an angel of arranging this. This is great. Oh, I'm I'm glad that I can help. Like, I really love chapter five. Oh, yeah, yeah. I rewrote it. I wanted you to uh see my new plot twist and everything. You know. How'd you feel like helping me some more? What? Oh, D visiting the boys. You know, I just can't go this long without seeing them, and I, I just need to do this more. Blake, I know that this is really hard for you, but you cannot keep slipping into town. You're going to get caught. Oh, no, not if we're careful. Look how pregnant you are. Blake, if somebody sees you, your, your secret's gone. Oh, that is why God created shapeless dresses, long black coats, and just scarves. Come on. Harley, I'm gonna go crazy if I don't see my boys. Okay, you win. You know what? It's your life. Thank That's you. what you want. Fine, I'm in. You're the best. You're the best. So, um, have you seen Ross with my mother? Every once in a while, yeah. Mm -hmm. Relationship gone public yet? <laughs> Not that I've heard. Or that I've seen, for that matter. Blake, I gotta tell you, if I didn't know any better from you, I would swear Russ and Holly were just friends. Believe me, Harley, if I thought for one minute that Ross and my mother were just friends, you know, the wild horses couldn't keep me away from them. Okay, so where are you drawing this conclusion from again? From Chicago? Yes, that was a very big eye-opener, thank you. It's so obvious that they were in love. I'm, I'm not going to ruin it for them again. Just, okay. We don't have to have this fight again. I know that you'll win. It's fine. So I'm going to go. I have to go to company, and I'll leave you with your children. And Are you hungry? Do you want a sandwich or something? Oh. I'll be back in a little while. Thank you. Hey, big guys. <laughs> oh, Mommy's going to stay with you as long as she can. Of course, it's not going to be nearly long enough. So in the meantime, let's go play, huh? The duck pond. It's to the duck pond. Yeah. Come on. You bring it. Yes, here we go. This way. I know how hard this is for you. I know how much you love her. Holly, I'm doing fine. The boys are okay. I'm okay. All right. Mm -hmm. You know, I hear you at night in your room, pacing the floor. You can't sleep. Where are the boys? The boys? The boys! I understood that you were taking them to the park. Where are they? I know the nanny's here somewhere, Ross! Oh, okay, guys. I have, to go. I have to go. So Harley's gonna come and she's gonna and she's gonna play with you, okay? And I love you. Why don't you go go play by the slides, okay? I love you. I love you. Christina? Uh, I, I know that I I left them right here. There are the boys. There, <laughs> there they are. Hey, uh, Christina's right. really good. I, I use her all the the time. I'm just not sure where she is right Where's now. Oh, there she is! Hi! Uh, okay. uh, I, I, you know, Ross, I'm really sorry about this. Uh, she's a really good nanny. I'm just going to go talk to her. Oh, yeah, and, no and problem. I'm sure she was watching the kids, though, really. I've never seen these toys before. Where did you get them? From Mommy. From Mommy? No, I, I don't think so. Did Grandma give them to you? No, Mommy. When? Today. Oh my guys, you couldn't have got these from Mommy. Mommy's not even here. Uh, 
Mommy, today? No, I think, I think the boys were just uh, playing. I think they were just pretending, Ross. You know, just playing a game, right? Yeah, playing a game. You know, I think kids do that, you know, when a parent's been away for a long time. Uh, Susan told me that she used to do it. Yeah. Well, you guys can go play trucks. Go ahead, put some sand in it. I guess there's no harm in that. I just wish that Blake would understand how much these kids need her. Oh, Ross. She misses them so much. I know she does. Well, her actions don't say that. Do they? And she asked you to bring them here today, didn't she? I mean, it's more surrogate parenting from Blake. There's Maida and there's Holly. Now there's you. She could hire a couple nannies now and never see these kids until high school. I just find it unbelievable how selfish she is and how neglectful she is towards her own kids. Ross, she loves those kids more than anything. It, uh, things aren't always what they seem. With my ex-wife, they are, particularly if they're bad things. I thought you'd kind of gotten over your past with, with Blake, moved beyond it. What are you talking about? Ross, what would you do if you found out that Blake still loved you? Harley, Blake is not in love with me. Far from it. She's with somebody else, perhaps. Well, we'll say she wasn't. What would you do? There is no use speculating about it. Everybody has moved on. Now, look, I appreciate you taking the kids to the park, but I want to get them home for a little bit. Kevin, Jason, come on, let's grab your trucks and go. Right? Here we go. Follow me. Come on. Bye, boys. <laughs> All right. Thanks again. Sure. Bye, bye, Ross. Ross doing here? What do you think? I ran into him in company. He was sort of wondering where his children were. Oh, okay, that was very close. Thank you for covering. Too Thank close, covering. too close. That's what I'm talking about, Blake. Things mm. like this that happen. That's all right. We're just going to be more careful, okay? Right, forget it, forget it. I want to tell you something. I think that he still loves you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, I think he's with my mother. No, 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 no. I am even less sure of that now. What are you talking about? I overheard Holly say that she could hear Ross being restless at night. Okay, I don't want to hear this. No, 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 no. What, what, what she was saying was she could hear him pacing the floor in his room, from her room. They weren't sleeping together. Maybe, maybe they're not officially sleeping together for the boy's sake. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you're right, Blake. But you know what? Maybe you're completely wrong about this whole thing, too. And you know what? Hey, it's just your whole life. Wouldn't you like to find out the truth first? I gotta go. Gotta get out of here before some other drama erupts. But if it does, call me. Okay. All right, fine. Great. You know, great. Just great. If Arlie's right, you know what? Well, if she's right, I really could have another shot at Ross, couldn't I? Of course, if she's wrong, it'll just make everything worse. And... I have to find out. I have to find out. Okay, let's just take a little break there, little guy. Oh, yeah. I've been working you overtime lately, haven't I? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept you in the town so late last night. I just had to see for myself what was going on between your daddy and your grandma. Boy, did I get an eyeful. Thank you so much. Hello? 
Hello, it's Blake. Where were you? Oh, I'm sorry. I left my cell phone at company. I had to come all the way back here to get it. What's up? Well, remind me never to take advice from you again. Which advice in particular are we talking about? Oh, gee, I don't know. It's okay, Blake, really. Holly and Ross are probably just friends. Well, yes, I went to the carriage house last night, and guess what I saw? They were together, dancing. Close. How close? The word glue comes to mind. <sighs> okay, well... <laughs> I could have been wrong. I'm really sorry. You know, do me a favor. Next time, keep your opinions to yourself because it it's not fair to have your, your hopes rise up like a phoenix and then it just dashed across the rocks and shattered and it just it hurts. It's just shattered like, like... Blake, I'm your friend and I feel your pain, but this is not a romance now, so could you cool it with the purple prose? And, you know, you should be very grateful that I have this novel to write. I mean, that I have a, a place to put all this pain and energy to check. You know what? I've got a problem. I know you have a problem. And I'm your friend. And I'm here for you. I told you I would be. No, no, no. I really, I really have a problem. My manuscript. My romance novel. It, 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 it's gone. Uh, I've lost it. Looking at your watch again? What? Excuse me? I know that you're waiting for Sam to call so you can have another cell phone date, and I know that because your face is flushed and your eyes, they're full of infatuation. Don't make fun of me. I'm not. I think it's great that you're so smitten, and frankly, it's very becoming. For a 12-year-old, maybe. I've been moping around all day. I don't know what's wrong with me. No, wait. I do. It's this throbbing, wretched thing. The manuscript we found is now a wretched thing. I was up all night reading this. I couldn't put it down. That's why I've got a hard case of romance on the brain. What's the name of the author again? Darlena, Darlena La Crosse. Cross. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously a nom de plume. So? So he or she is using a false name because they're a bit embarrassed writing this... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I must have dropped it at the, at the carriage house. I must have left it there by the front door. Oh, Harley, this can't be happening. I mean, uh, if Ross and Harley, uh, Holly, they, they, they read this, they're going to know that it's it's me. And they're, 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 they're going to know everything that I'm thinking, wishing, and feeling. And, and, and the relationship I'm trying so hard to protect is going to be ruined. Blake, ruined. Blake, ruined. Blake. You're getting purple again. You have to do something. You have to me? How? I don't know. I don't care. Just do it. Who says we can't publish straight fiction? All the newspapers used to do it. Hearst, Pulitzer, and Dickens. Dickens was <laughs> first published in serial form. Holly, this ain't Dickens. <laughs> well, it ain't bad either. And every chapter ends in a cliffhanger. People will be dying to know what happens. They'll have to buy a paper to find out. We could be onto them. Yeah, yeah, maybe you could be. But first of all, you have to find Darlena LaCrosse, and you yeah. have to get her approval before you can publish anything. So we'll get a reporter on it. They'll call every public publishing house, every agency in town. Uh, hold that thought. I have a better idea. Blake, would you just calm down? I can... So you do understand the delicacy of the situation? Oh, I can see that it's delicate. Mm-hmm. Sure. Good, good. I knew I could count on you. I hope to be hearing from you. The sooner, the better. I'll sure call you. My life is a nightmare. Sorry to disappear on you, but this thought just occurred to me, and I wanted to pursue it. Yeah, yeah. So, you gonna fill me in? I thought perhaps Harley could be the... Excuse me? Sorry. Yeah. Are you Holly Reed? Yes. A, a man delivered this for you? Oh, thanks. You must be done paper. Oh, no. What's the matter? Who's it from? Sam. Oh, we can't make it? Dear Holly, I made a lot of mistakes in my life, hurt a lot of people, and I don't trust myself not to hurt you, too, so I'm 
getting out of Dodge before I can do any more damage. And please not try not to be mad at me. I'm doing this because I care about you, and I'll never forget you, Sam. P.S. Scott Kelsey. Well, as they say on the prairie, easy come, easy go. Oh, now, don't you do that. I know how much it hurts. No. You know. I've been an idiot for months. No, you haven't. Oh, you saw it. You saw it, no, too. You... A convicted felon and my stupid phone dates. I knew this was going to happen. Holly, you have a right to fall in love, too. Oh, Holly, I'm sorry. May as well get this over with. We got cut off. What happened? Never mind. Doesn't matter. Did you do it? Did you get the manuscript from my from my mom and from Ross? I never had a chance. Harley, you have to do that. If they read it, they're going to find out I'm the author. Well, I have news for you. They've already read it. At least Holly has. She thinks it's great. She's going to serialize it in the journal. She thinks it's going to be a huge success. Uh, I have to sit down. Yeah, you better sit down because I have one more juicy tidbit for you. Ross just hired me for a case. He wants me to find someone. Who? Why don't you take a big fat guess? Darlena LaCrosse. He wants me to find you. 